Hello, Teenage America. My name is the Rattle Rouser. And we are back with some more Leisure Suit Larry 2. I finally got up to where I was before, and I am saving now. <sighs> it took a good 30, 40 minutes. But now, we can put on a bikini. Boy, do you look sweet. Put soap in top. Read a modesty. Uh, my apologies. Are you sure you want to do this? Well, we have to stuff our bra. So it looks like we have breasts. <sighs> okay. What a great way to start a video, wouldn't you say? Is there anything you can do about my excess body hair, you ask the barber? But of course, meester, says the barber, I gotta just what y'all need. Just have a seen a dead chair, please. For a you, uh, today, uh, today, oh... On lay, I got a special deal, he begins. Somehow I wonder, you reply. No, he says, this will work out real good. What are you going to do to me this time? Body waxing. This part is always very painful to watch. Once again, he's got you trapped in that chair. You better hope this will turn out better. Ugh. There, a la set, says the barber. Now just to lay there and let uh, let it get a hard. If it be so stupid, you think I have wax hardening all over my naked body? Yeah, yeah. Everywhere, all at the same time, on a man who is in his forties. Oh God! You cry. Was it good for you? I don't uh, think it could be good for anybody, he answers. So now, we're in a bikini. Well, perhaps the pain was worth it. I do like this clean-shaven look, you tell him. You're the only one, he concludes the barber. Have a nice day. So now, we have long blonde hair. We're in a bikini with a stuffed top. And a hairless body. I think you can figure out what's going to happen now. Luckily enough, it doesn't take forever to uh, go through the jungle near the end. So, the reason why we did all this, as you can remember, we got a game over here. Wow, hello baby, cries the KGB agent. Oh honey, I think I loves ya. What happened to his accent? Yeah, that's right. You did it. You made it across the beach without being caught by the KGB agents. What lies ahead now? Oh my gosh, how well a guy as clumsy as you are ever managed to hike a trail as narrow as this. This was a nightmare for me as well. Of course, I don't think you can fall off. Alright, we're going to traverse this area and lies beneath or beyond, as I mentioned in the game over, is the airport. So we can get off this beach full of KGB agents that want to murderize me. Let me look out. seems to be a bit more friendly. If nope. It's 
Still can't do it. Yeah, yeah, that's not getting old. Pause a moment, you catch your breath before crossing the t airport parking lot to the terminal building. And you escape from that wonderful tropical resort. Put on a suit. Okay. You slip back into your leisure suit and toss the bikini and soap far over the cliff. Do bad as you were beginning to enjoy wearing women's clothing. They see you still have your beautiful long blonde hair. Well rested. When was I well rested? You stride boldly across the dirt parking lot to the front build door of the main terminal building. By the way, you didn't think you were going to keep all those free points, did you? Why are you happy to make it past those cliffs? You swear to never return that way. Alright. This part was a part that I had quite a bit of trouble with. So these guys are acting as I don't know what you call them, but people like the Dalai Lama promoting peace and such. But they're KGB agents. Yep. It's hard to time it just right. Here we go. I've had several times where I had trouble with this. Here, my little flower child, you tell the KG Bishna. Make love, not money. The so confuses the KG Bishna agents that they stumble off towards the native rental car agents. Okay. Well, first things first. Because this line never moves. Ever. We're going to yet another barber shop. Ooh, and there's a lady this time. Can I just get a slight trim, you ask? My hair is ridiculously long. Oh, oh, she replies. I'll be happy to just plop in my chair there, Goldilocks. I'll take care of those curly locks for you. Gosh, please be careful, you tell her. I'd hate to lose my full head of hair. Just take a little off the back. All done, says the barber. What do you think? My hair, you cry. It's gone. She replies, it serves you right. You should never trust a barber with longer, prettier, blonder hair than yours. Bitch. And yeah, you look exactly the same again. Well, at least I look like my password picture now. <sighs> Although that seems small con that seems small consolation. I'm sorry you're not satisfied, says the barber. Here, take a bottle of this one special. When you have time, rub a teaspoon on your hair every day for a month. Soon your hair will be full and rich. But be careful, she concludes. It's highly flammable. Have a nice day. <clears throat> Um. Ah, uh, you know what? This is going a bit too slow for my pace. Bump it up one. I can live with that. Hey, it's the California raisins on the right wall. <clears throat> Screw that noise. We're going to go right to the source. Show pass port. This picture is an excellent likeness, says the customs agent. Must be printed on photographic paper by Kodork. Now I'm 
must possess oh, inspected possessions, he says. Please show me everything you are carrying. Well, okay, I guess, you reply. Although this is highly unusual in an adventure game. Is that a hundred dollar what is that hundreds of hundred dollar bills in your pocket, or are you just glad to play this game? You are so smart to delve into Eve's can. Well you know this envelope contains important international secrets. Oops. The knife still smells of brie. Of course, the knife is no problem, I guess. For a moment, you consider the drawing of the little doggy and wonder if she would pursue a career in art. And, warning, highly toxic fumble, bolly, bottle harmful if taken internally. There, are you satisfied, you ask? Yes, but I must warn you about carrying that knife on board any aircraft. Okay, Eli, you have my word on it. Alright, he says, unlocking the gate to the east wall, you may pass. Hey, thanks a lot, buddy. You say peeling a hundred off your wad of bills. Here's a little something for you and the missus. I'm on your buddy, you ugly Americano. Have a nice day. You gotta love it. So, this is where we now can become a hero. Hmm. Oh shit, I missed that one. Sorry. I was wondering what the deal was. And bags weren't showing up. Just gotta wait for it. That is a cat. In a molded cat carrier. That thing's probably going to die. And those were two flails. You almost call it a morning star, but a morning star does not have a chain. That's a gun. In what looks like a guitar case. Oh, the late eighties and their <clears throat> different ways of uh, flight protection or flight safety. And that's a whole goddamn computer. Message. Oh. And still waiting. That is an alarm clock. Yes, there is a reason why we're waiting here like this. <sighs> I just wish it didn't take so long. Another gun. Grabs up a suitcase from the moving belt, forcing it open to discover it inside. A bomb! Let's see now you think. I'm holding the suitcase containing the ticking bomb. What should I do? So you decide, I think I'll get this thing outside. And fast! That is what we were waiting for. And you remember those long ass lines for the ticket? Look out, I've got a bomb, you shout. Of course, the agent casually replies, have a nice day. Screw you on your lines. Look out, I've got a bomb, you shout. Get out of here quick. That's certainly subtle, Larry. You wouldn't want to ca create a panic. Seems like you're the only one panicking around here, Larry. Ignoring their apathy, Val rushes outside and throws safely over those clips, protecting these innocent bystanders from harm while making myself a hero in the process. Fame and recognition will surely follow. I'll be invited to the White House where I'll be acclaimed national treasure. Surely, therefore, I'll write a titillating, best-selling autobiography in which I reveal everything. Guaranteed appearances on Donnie, Hugh, and Carson, and a seven-figure of movie deal signed over a power lunch at Spago's, in spite of the pro protestations of my agent and attorneys. 
which will go on to make him even richer and more famous before retiring to a quiet, unassuming life as a gentleman farmer in the foothills of eastern Madria country. And then again, maybe not. Alright, Larry, it sounds like it's about to go off. Boom. <clears throat> And now everyone but that one person is gone. There's only one way to clear a crowd, but now look at your suit. <sighs> oh well, at least no one was hurt, but why'd they all run away from a little firecracker like that? Yeah, little firecracker. Now, buy a ticket. May you please purchase the ticket on the next available flight, you tell the agent. Your destination, sir? Yes. Anywhere but here. You're in luck. We, ex we have exactly one seat available the next two weeks, and it's on the next departing flight. I'll take it. Say, if you have no seats available, why are all those men in line? They're waiting for the keys to the restroom. You presume that... <coughs> Explains their sudden departure following a loud noise. Would you prefer smoking or non smoking? None. Aisle or window? Aisle. Any carry on baggage? None. Luggage to check through? No. We will cry our base net? No. Driving with children or elderly? No. Bringing a pet? No. Do you have a passport or visa? Passport. Get it for baggage insurance? No. First class, business class, or coach? He said there's only one seat. Will you be staying 14 to 21 days? Forever. Are you a member of any frequent flyer programs? No. Will you be bringing a laptop computer on board? Nope. Would you like a pillow? Yes. Blanket? No. Movie? No. Stereo headphones? I suppose. Good gravy. Drinking or non-drinking? Drinking. Cash or credit card? Cash. Double privileges in flight? No. Kosher or Mexican? Armani... Armenian. Three and a half inch or <laughs> sixteen. Just give me the gold darn dab netted golly gee whiz bang ticket. Wait, stewardess fondling or non fondling. <clears throat> Bar, are you an Ameri are you Americanos touchy snarls? Okay. Here's your ticket. One adult ultra saver non smoking window business class deluxe business class. Express Apex Accursion Gold Label Lee Y Fair Non Refundable Maxi Fair Ticket for Kawa with Pillow, Blanket, Movie, and Stereo Headphones. Flight is scheduled to depart from Gate 1 in exactly one minute. But you spent so much time here, you might have made it, concludes the agent. Have a nice day. Fucker. Show passport. You again? Did you get rid of that knife? Of course. What I lied to you, you say, say unabashed. Okay, I've seen enough of your stuff. Please go on through it, but please remember, have a nice day. Do 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 do. do. Read a sign. Menu today only. Blue plate special. One dollar. At least the price is reasonable. Order special. Hey baby, you shall give me one of them blue plate specials. That's blue pate, you bald to you baldy, she retorts. Yo, she yells back into the kitchen. Slot me up another bald another bald one? What? Oh, okay, for a second there. Here you go, big boy, she says with a toothy grin. One big blue coming at ya. So I should play in the counter before you. Look at food. Looks like it might be edible. But knowing from 
past experiences. Take Bobby pins. This time he decided to save himself from a fate worse than, well, okay. Actually, quite similar to, no, indeed, I suppose it would be identical to death. By fishing the bobby pins out of the blue pate special's gravy like substance instead of swallowing it. Now, this red machine looks very interesting. This one on your eyes label broken. Sick. The machine to the left is labeled flight insurance, one hundred dollars. It's a large for an insurance machine, isn't it? Buy insurance. Peel off another hundred dollar bill from your wad of money and insert it into the slot. The machine slurps it up, digests it, considers its authenticity, finds it valid, then begins to whir and shake. What kind of airline is this anyway? Well, you suppose the parachute would be a pretty good insurance. So you pick it up off the floor and hide it in your inner suit coat pocket. Holy crap, I got lost in this part. Um, so yeah, this is an extra long episode. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye bye everyone.